Hi there, my name's Dave Coates, I'm an electrician working in Leeds. Now the purpose of this short film is just to show you how deviously corrupt that the inland revenue really are. Now in order to defraud you of uh, whatever amount they are going to do you for, they've used all sorts of stuff like lies, deception, trickery, forgery, you name it, they will actually use it. Now, what you really need at this time is a fairly reasonable accountant. I mean, you don't need a brilliant accountant, but one that can do your books somewhere close to what the truth is. Now, unfortunately, I had a guy called Chris Urquhart. And I'm about to show you now just one or two things which he did. This is the house that I renovated in the 90 to 91 period. And although I spent like £12,000 on renovating this house, there was no trace of this in Chris Urquhart's figures which he produced for the Inland Revenue. About this time I had, About this time I had to borrow £10,000 from the bank and Chris Urquhart put it into the accounts as capital introduced. In other words, I had to pay tax on it. The reason I was doing this at that time was because I wanted to buy a house in France and to basically move there and open a hotel with Jeets and you've seen people on TV doing this and I wanted to do this. I did have some rental properties and it was uh, an easy thing, next step for me to do. Now to run this on a little bit further, uh, Chris Urquhart in one year missed £16,000 in vehicles that I'd actually bought from a business. Uh, it missed, uh, <laughs> he'd overestimated my income over about three or four year period of around about £20,000. God knows how he'd done this, never gave me an explanation. So eventually, around about 93, I sacked him, I think it was February of 93. And believe it or not, a couple of weeks later, we ended up with uh, a letter from the Inland Revenue saying I was being investigated. Now, I was in a cleft stick here. What do you do? I went to see other accountants and bookkeepers and what have you. And nobody could make any uh, any sense of what Urquhart's figures were. They were just absolutely so bizarre. It, it guessed a lot. That's what I accused him of. So, I was, like I say, I was in a cleft stick. So what I had to do then was go back to the guy and re-employ him to fight my case or explain what he'd done to the Inland Revenue in the investigation. Now, the inspector that we got at this time was a woman called Kay Murphy. And um, eventually, after lots of letters flying about and what have you, Urquhart wouldn't come to probably most of the, you know, the meetings that were arranged. We eventually got him to a meeting on the 24th of July 1997, supposedly for um, a five minute or a ten minute conversation with uh, the, the inspector Kay Murphy just to discuss what the books were. But this is where I was deceived really badly and tricked by both Murphy and Urquhart. Because at that meeting, it wasn't a five or ten minute meeting, it was two hours. And Kay Murphy had took my books or my bank books at least, and my books were held by Chris Urquhart. In fact, he told me at the time he'd lost them. So I went there completely empty-handed empty and had to uh, begin answering questions over a 20-year period from my bank box what every item in that bank book was. And uh, the items I'm about to show you now is the items which I basically was done for. This house was sold for £25,471 with the renovation costs of between 10 to 12,000 pounds. Now if you look at Murphy's figures here, there is nowhere you can see any allowance for the renovation costs of 10 to 12,000 pounds. The next thing I was defrauded of was if you look here now at my bank book, almost in the middle of the book, there's 1,500 pounds. Now these yellow markers are from Kay Murphy. She defrauded me of this £1,500 when quite clearly it's a legitimate item. This is my day-to-day -day sheets here and if you look in the middle there it says July 92, £1,500. Perfectly legitimate item. So that's about as far as we're going to go on this small clip at the moment. But if you'd like to click on my other video which is going to explain exactly what Murphy has done and all the items that she's done me for, defrauded me for, that's the word you should call it, are perfectly legitimate. Now you will hear me mention about one or two things in the following clips, such as uh, Daihatsu Brown, which was business. I had a cafe which I sold and I lost 30 thousand pounds on. 
Um, and when I sold it, I got about £10,000. So after losing sort of three to £5,000 a year with this, I was so relieved to actually get rid of it, to be honest with you. I went out and bought myself a Porsche 911. You will also see me mention this in the following clip. But if you've any interest at all of, of seeing what happens next, please do click on, on this clip. And uh, I'm quite sure you'd be quite amused, but everything in there uh, is perfectly legitimate. And I've been defrauded by New England Revenue. But when you go back to these people, they completely ignore you. In fact, that's the greatest trick that they do you, is, it just, is ignorance. Uh, it, it averages round about sort of like six or eight months for them to answer a letter. And even when they answer that letter, it's not with reference to the remarks that you were making there. In other words, I've been saying for the last ten years or more that Kay Murphy is a lying evil bitch, and she really is. And the problem is, is getting these people to look at her investigation that she did and the evidence I've shown you on this small clip. I've all the evidence that they have receipts, you know, for the renovation costs on the houses and for the cars, everything I've got. Why she's changed them around this way, I just do not know. I suspect her bosses have put her up to it. But please, have a look at the next clips. Thank you.